Hey everybody, Dustin Briley here with Briley Brothers. Today we're in Gilbert, Arizona, and we're gonna take a look at this lakefront home. This is in Val Vista Lake, specifically on West Lake, which is a very upscale neighborhood with million dollar to multi-million dollar homes. This house has four bedrooms, two offices, four and a half bathrooms. It's 5,992 square feet has a three car garage. It was built in 1987, and so it's gonna need a lot of updating. The lot is 17,428 square feet. Obviously you got the pool, covered patios on both sides. There's gonna be soaring, beautiful coffered ceilings that are wood paneled in the formal living room in this house. You got the fountain over here Cross streets are gonna be Val Vista and Baseline. And this house is listed at $1,740,000. I think I mentioned, but just to reiterate, it is in a gated community. It's got incredible access to the 60, which is gonna shoot you right into Phoenix. So you're gonna be 25, 30 minutes away from uh, the airport. The community uh, that it's in, Val Vista Lakes, has a world-class uh, community or uh, fitness center. It has a beach, it has pools, all sorts of things to do over there for you and your family. On this lake itself, you can have pontoon boats, it, basically electric, small little boats, nothing gas powered. You can have kayaks. I'm sure you could have paddle boards. Architecturally, it's a very pretty home, but you'll see in the inside, it's gonna need quite a bit of updating to get it where you're gonna want it. Look how big this covered patio is over here. I think a lot of people are either gonna love or hate the pillars. Myself, I don't mind the pillars. This little uh, deck over here goes upstairs to a second, sub, second level uh, deck, and there's two decks upstairs. All right, so right now we walk in. This is gonna be where you're gonna put your, you know, your table where you're gonna eat breakfast. Look at the ceilings throughout the house. From there, it flows into the kitchen. So what I would focus on is the positives, like the woodwork, the doors, stuff like that. You're gonna to need to remove most of the wallpaper. Most people are gonna to wanna to redo the whole kitchen. Got a pantry. So it can be expensive to remove tile. And so one thing that I will point out is there's not a ton of tile in this house. It's in the kitchen and this uh, breakfast area over here. But uh, besides that, the house is mainly carpet. And so what that means is carpet is very, very uh, cheap to remove. I mean, you could do it yourself and then you could put in new tile or uh, laminate flooring, hardwood, whatever you want to do at that point. But really what you're buying here is the location, the size of the house and the, uh, the, the grandness of it. Right? But you're definitely gonna have to come in and uh, do a ton of work to the house. This is gonna be your family room. Obviously most people's TVs are gonna be bigger than that now, so you're probably gonna have to remove that. Got the gas fireplace. This is a little bar over here. This is a big house, so it's gonna take a little while. So over here we have, this is gonna be used as a bedroom or it would make a great office as well. Looks like they have it set up as an office. It has access to that back patio. the office we have the three-car garage 
very roomy garage. You can see these vehicles fit in there with tons of room to spare on either end. You have some built-ins. Okay, so here we're approaching the main foyer where you're gonna enter the home. This does have tile as well. This door over here leads into the kitchen. Down one step here, we have the powder room. So I'll go ahead and pop outside and kind of show you what it feels like walking in. So I personally think that the staircase in the entryway is stunning. It's the first thing you see when you come in. The soaring ceilings. And then you notice quickly the coffered ceilings in the formal living room over here. Beautiful fireplace. See how there's tons of carpet? This is gonna be your dining room. That hooks right into the kitchen where we just went. All right, let's cruise upstairs. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're getting any value out of it, if you're enjoying the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna see this house, or if you want help buying or selling, our contact information is down in the description and we'd love to uh, help you with your next real estate transaction. Very pretty. So up here we have the laundry room. An interesting linen closet, large linen closet. French doors leading into what they have situated as another office. You can see the back deck that I was speaking about. There's one in the primary suite that we'll go out on. Nice size bedroom. This bedroom has its own bathroom. Intercom, when I was a kid, we had an intercom. They're kind of funny. I don't think people use them too often anymore. And then another bedroom. These are nice sized bedrooms, plenty of closet space. And then uh, both of these have their own bathrooms.
and then here at the top of the staircase we have the primary suite. On the far end we're going to have this defined space that has the fireplace and some built-ins. Lots of light in this house, lots of windows. So this is one of the reasons you're buying the house is the views and the neighborhood. A lot of the windows I've noticed they have what's referred to as the hermetic seal is burst. And so there you can see how it's foggy. So you can replace just the glass oftentimes on those, but I'm seeing quite a few of those. All those things would be picked up during the home inspection. Here is the primary bathroom. Very large, tall ceilings. Like the... <laughs> Oh man, fit for a king or queen. See, there's some more windows with the hermetic seal bust. And then the bathroom, you have a toilet and a bidet. Has anyone ever used those? Have you used a bidet? Let me know in the comments below. The shower. And then we have two closets in here. So here is closet number one. This one's larger, closet number two. This would be my wife's. Yeah, well, that's it. Let's kind of stroll downstairs. And then, um, like I mentioned earlier, if you need any help, if you want to see this property, or if you're just looking to buy or sell, we work with people in state. We work with a lot of people out of state as well. So if that's you, we'd love to help you out. Our contact information is down in the description. My brother and I are both full-time agents the top 1%, which means we sell a lot of homes, and we'd be happy to help you out. So get a hold of us, call, text, or email, and we will see you on the next video.